tutorial we're going to review how to add table data into Quark Express automatically. Uh, if you use Quark you know that using tables can sometimes be a little bit difficult just because if you're bringing something in from Excel or anything like that uh, you may be doing it manually such as going here creating a table setting it up and then coming in and entering in uh, data here header here, go and just tabbing and doing it all manually. That can take a very long time. Quark Express has a great way of integrating table data from Excel directly into the system. So uh, to do that, you start out with an Excel file. So uh, we created a file right here in Excel, and you can customize it however you want. You can see right here we have one, two, three, four, five, six different columns, and we have 17 rows and I left one open in each um, uh, each other row just so you can see some space uh, but we have this file we're going to save it just in normal XLSX format come back to Quark and build our table so we want it to take up the whole page and now we're going to select 17 rows and uh, 6 columns and you can play around with all of these, such as auto-fit, and uh, we'll go auto-fit on columns, and then link to external data, hit OK. And when you hit link to external data, it brings up this table link box. And your only option is Excel, so make sure that that's the type of format you build it in. Then you click Browse, and we'll go down to the desktop, click Workbook, hit Open, it brings it up. It, you do have the option if you have multiple sheets you can pick it you can also pick the range and then I usually just stick with the defaults right here so we'll hit OK and give it a second to load up and then it'll import each one of those and switch it up so that it gets converted into a Quark Express table format and here you go and because I selected to auto format the size uh, you'll see that uh, that's the reason why it has some of the columns uh, formatted with like this injection interval is formatted wider and um, it makes it look a little bit better if you wouldn't have selected that they would all came out the same size so you can uh, change the size up so we're gonna change it by extending it here and now it spreads it and everything gets spread out even evenly um, I want to bring this up and adjust it here and as you can see now you have all of that formatted data right here in Excel and you have it perfectly placed in Quark now and you can keep on adjusting the size so that it fits on the paper with the right margins and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, as you can see, that looks so much better. And that took us literally just a couple minutes of time compared to spending a very large amount of time if you were to try to input all of that manually. And then you also would then have to format it and do the different things like that. Where, as you can see, it brought in the elements, the formatting elements, such as highlighting this top row that was the same in Excel. Excel along with adding bold to the sides and uh, to the column headers. So uh, you now know how to import uh, Excel files straight into Quark Express. Congratulations and please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever.